Paint all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Fortmaster's vlog for the Warhammer 4000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in UK. And welcome to this July painting challenge. Today is the day 14 in the, into our current projects. And I'm gonna show you pretty much what I've been up to. First of all, we can show, check out the demon prints. I've finally come to the I've finally come to the point where I started to glue it together. So far, it's only the heads which are left in option, uh, left in question, and uh, those those two heads I want to use are one of these two. The third one, no matter uh, that doesn't matter if my opinion about it has changed, I will still not be using it. Uh, but the main body has turned out great. I really love those arms. They are fantastic and highly recommended. And the painting job, I'm, uh, it's far out of my expectations. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm simply in love with the, this dim prints. And I must say, doing these bigger uh, models are quite unusual and more fun in that way. So uh, it, it can get quite tiresome to just do regular small models but uh, even though they are fun as well I think it can also be much more fun when, with the bigger models but leaving him aside meaning that I'm almost completely done with one of my primary ob objectives here we have my word bearers they, they aren't lined up uh, as there are still some small details left of them but uh, I would imagine that by tomorrow or the day after that I'm gonna be completely done with my six chosen Chaos Space Marines and the Chaos Lord. Uh, unfortunately the, the non-oil which I was using for these models uh, had lost its oily effect and was pr pretty much kind of ruining it so I had to uh, put that away and add this uh, yeah, I opened a new non-oil and I'm hopefully that's going to be turning out better than the, the other one. So they will soon be finished and uh, yeah, there will be more close-ups and videos about that. Uh, in response to that, I'm going to be continuing my Word Bearers July Painting Challenge project with the Hellbrute that came along with the Dark Vengeance box. So that's what I'm going to be starting out now that I'm almost halfway through this uh, challenge. It's going to be exciting to see how this turns out. I'm uncertain if I'm going to be doing a painting guide on it, but I think I'm actually going to be using it. Um, I'm going to use the video footage and include it in my 27th painting guide where I'm going to be doing all the word bearers and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be starting up to day after I'm finished off with the, the word bearers and hopefully soon I'm gonna be continuing with my uh, terrain project as well uh, when, when I get the inspiration more or less it, it's actually quite finished the only things I'm left with are these three parts and that which I'm uncertain how I'm gonna be using them uh, but since my summer work is finally over, I got much, much more time to do things uh, from now on. So, yeah, that, that, that's a good positive thing. Also, my another, in other news, my birthday is coming up here in less than two weeks. The 23rd of, uh, of July is my, is my uh, birthday. So we're going to be celebrating that as well. And, yeah, so that's... Th those are the news, so finish off the Demon Prince, which is only selecting the head and video recording it. And then finish off the Word Bearers, which is just a few steps away from that. I know why I say at the end of each video, finish off the Word Bearers. So, uh, but uh, this time hopefully I'm actually gonna do it. And then start out on the Hellbrute. As you can see, I forgot to say this earlier, I've, um, I've skipped to glue sand on the entire uh, base. The reason why because of this is because, uh, as I've said earlier, I want some winter themed word bearers. So that's why I'm going to be painting the sand in more greyish stone colors. I'm going to be adding snow on that. 
and then on this little part here I'm gonna be painting it so it looks like ice which I done with some of my thousand sons yeah, that's where I started out with this whole winter theme idea but yeah so that those are the things that's coming up for them those, those are the things that's coming up soon but then let's go into the daily questions then Saturday secondary objective spend one day this week doing absolutely nothing hobby related take the day off maybe help your lady boss with one of your her challenges just chill out don't forget to still post an upload video answering the daily question uh, since I did a lot of days working last week uh, most part particularly the Saturday which I did very little hobbying so I think I pretty much completed that secondary objective uh, more or less Sunday warmer for the K Imperial vehicles and starships are all given very gothic and baroque names then he uh, is linking to a web page if your trusted paintbrush had a name what would it be remember to be majestic Oh, this is an interesting one. What would my painting brush be? Uh, the strange thing about my brushes are that they are uh, they they run out run out of quality rather fast. So I think I would name mine like Lightning Thunder. That I think that would be my name for my brush because they run out rather fast, fast as lightning. Get it? fast as lightning oh yeah it's a bad one but uh, I think that would be my majestic name for a paintbrush then we have Monday which is today the 14th take the camera to school slash work day show us around the office or campus if you can if you don't do either or feel too weird to do that take a scenic walk around the town near your campus or office tell us about the day in the life of you well I I know this is uh, something I really should do, but at the same time I'm not really up for showing my surrounding areas. I think that's pretty wasted, uh, wasted time and opportunity. So we will see if I do this or I'm just gonna skip this daily challenge question. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything I had for this video. My summer work is finally completed. I'm soon done with my word bearers and demon prints. I'm 98% finished with my train project and I started out on my health route, so this project is going along pretty fine. So that's pretty much everything I had for this video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos, please give a thumbs up. And also leave comments on things I'm doing good so we keep on doing them. And leave negativity on things I'm doing bad so we'll either improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends if they are looking for looking for some simple entertainment or, or if they want some inspiration or some tip or whatever. But other than that, thank you very much for watching this. Death to the false emperor. Bye!